thanks to this man here, Steve Merrick, along with his assistant, Rab, Rab Martin at Grangemouth, because... Absolutely thrilled to bits with the recent result where the uh, seven majors have uh, withdrawn from the Vesna. So the guys at Grangemouth are absolutely ecstatic that their, uh, their terms and conditions have been defended. The, the, the position that uh, the rank and file played in this has been absolutely tremendous. The guys are over the moon with the rise of the rank and file. The strength that we've helped to create here is going to move forward to the future and serve us well. In regards to the campaign, I have uh, nothing but admiration for the guys that sit in this, in this room today. The guys who have gave up the last 18, 19 Saturdays to come along to meetings in their own time, plus the actions that they have took upon themselves to do, uh, has obviously contributed quite a bit to the company's withdrawal for the Besner. I've been involved in the campaign from the beginning and uh, to see the confidence growing for the membership from the early weeks to where we are now is unbelievable. But more importantly, I think what is reflected is that uh, we have an organisation right through for the various constitutional committees to the rank and file that can serve the members well. And there's various people within that organisation, organising department, regional secretaries and various stewards who in my mind have shown the way that the union should be conducting itself. Young guys, young construction workers now need to take heed and say, like, let's get involved. This is really important for the future of this industry. We really need to stick together. This is a, a fantastic victory. It will go down in history as one of the greatest victories. But we need to build on it and now clean up this industry. The solidarity that the site has shown, especially at Greensmouth and Cuneo, has been absolutely phenomenal. And in this meeting today, we've shown that if we stick together, we can beat big companies. I mean, like myself, I'm only 28 year old. I've got four, at least 35, 40 years left in this industry. So I'm proud to be part of that fight. I was on the strike committee that went to London and decided what was going to happen. So. I mean, to begin with, there was guys I was speaking to were saying the basin is coming through, it's, it's going, we're going to get beat. This just shows that we've stuck together and we've beat the, one of the biggest companies in Europe, Balfour B. So I would just like to say a big thanks to the rank and file, the, the shop shoot committee and the committee, the, the strike committee down in London. It's been fantastic. The support we've been getting of other trades, especially BP Canal, has been outstanding. We had 200 scaffolders that were ready to walk out. That just shows you that they knew that if we go down, they were next. Because to be honest, if they can de-skill an electrician, they can de-skill a scaffolder and a, and a pipe fitter twice as easy. So like again, I'd just like to thank everyone that was involved in this struggle, because it was a struggle. I've been coming here for six months and Unite has been outstanding in this. And a lot of people doubted that Unite would, wouldn't have a big part in this. But they pushed for the court cases and I, I strongly believe if this court case went the other way, we'd be still have a massive struggle on our hands. So hats off to you, right? They couldn't have done any more in the struggle against us. So I'd just like to thank everyone once again. Cheers. As far as this campaign is concerned, and the whole uh, Besna dispute has been absolutely tremendous. It's been a like campaign that's been led by the rank and file, by our members at, at those workplaces, uh, taking action that they've taken. They've been absolutely resolute in, in their, you know, their, 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 their determination to fight this battle and to win this battle. What we've had for the union has been, has been first class and I hope now that a lot of people realise that the union are 100% behind us. It's, it's been fantastic and uh, I'm so proud to be part of this rank and file and part of the trade union movement. It's been fantastic. The biggest thanks has to go to the, the rank and file members, the lads that have been coming to these meetings every week, um, going to the various sites every week, picketing sites, holding demonstrations right across the UK has been a major factor in us winning this campaign.